When you purchase a brand new MTN MiFi of any type, the default login password and username to log into your MTN MiFi portal is usually admin. So that makes it easier if your MiFi gets stolen or missing, someone can easily access your MiFi login portal. So that's why into this quick and very simple video, I want to show you how you can change your MTN MiFi login password and username to your own preferable username and password. Okay. So guys, now before you start, make sure that your MiFi is turned on and connected to your laptop. So put on the MiFi on, then you see your come to your laptop here and tap on the network area, and you see your MiFi is my MTN 4G. Just tap on it and tap on connect. You will ask for password. Then remove your MiFi battery, and you see the default password there. That password is not the login password. Though. That one is what you use to connect to your laptop and to your phone. Okay. So you can see all connected. If it's connected, then come here to any of your browsers and tap on your browser. If you tap on your browser and it opens, then come here and enter this default code to log into your MTM MyFi login portal. Okay, one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot one. Enter this exactly and now come here and enter. If you enter, you can see here login to MTM broadband device interface. So as I said, the default password and username is usually admin. So to say, come here and enter password. For my own password, my file login portal they are showing only password. But in some my files, they will show password and username. So come here and enter admin for both password and username. But if you are showing only password, so come here and enter admin. I will enter admin. And tap on this login if I tap on login you can see that it has brought me into my MTN MyFi login portal you can see here I'm connected and right here so I can do every settings that I want but remember we just want to change the MTN login password and username so first of all let's start with password now to change your password you can see here at the top here modify login password so come here and tap on it if you tap on it you can see here now enter current password, enter new password, and confirm new password. So as I said, the current password is admin. So come and enter admin, all in small letter, okay? If I enter admin, so in this one here, I'll come and enter my new password. So I'll come and enter my new password. So I'll come here and confirm my new password. So after that, I'll come here and tap on this apply. You can see success and I've been able to change my password, my login password. So if I've done this, now it's time to change my username, my MTN 4G username. So I'll come here and tap here to go back. If I go back, now to change username, you can see here device settings. I'll tap on it. Then if I tap on it, I will scroll a bit down and you see here Wi-Fi settings. I will tap on it. And if I tap on it, you can see right here network name. And here's my default network name, MTN 4G C30971. So to change it, then I'll come here and cancel this and put my own name. For instance, I'll just come here and put Collins MTN my file so if i put this username so you can see down here apply i'll come here and tap on this apply and they will say all connected to wi-fi devices we need to reconnect because i want to change the name so i'll tap on this yes if it's update i will have to reconnect to my computer again i'm still waiting and you can see here success and my computer we have to disconnect automatically because I've changed the name. So I'll come here and tap again to connect and put my password. You can see the name has been updated. Collins MTN My File. I'll tap on it and connect. So I will have to put my password again. So I'll come here and put my login password. As I said, this password is not your MTN portal login password. Though. This one you can find it at the back of your My File if you open your battery. So I'll come here and put my password. If I put my password, I come here and tap on this next to reconnect. 
you can see i've come back and my new name here is collins mtn my file and you can see that i've changed it even here it has been changed if i come to my dashboard you can see that right now i've been able to change my mtn login password and my username so that is it guys is that it's as simple as that so right now even if my my file gets missing someone can't have access to open or log into my mtn my file portal anymore because they will ask for password and the admin default password won't be able to work again to log in so guys that is it thank you guys for this video and bye